iOS 26 is currently on the second beta and it's packed with new features and changes. Now every day I'm discovering new features and changes which are actually really cool and a lot of them will be actually very very useful and you'll find yourself using them on daily basis. So in today's video we're talking about iOS 26 beta 2 and we have 10 more features to talk about that I believe are super useful and you must know and use on your iOS 26 device. First off we're starting with Safari. So as you probably know if you go to Safari you can do this on iOS 18 as well. You will have the tabs right here at the bottom and you can actually swipe like this to switch between different tabs. Well, of course, you can do that on iOS 26 as well, but now on iOS 26, even if you're using the bar at the top, which most users actually prefer doing that, you will still be able to actually swipe right there to switch between different tabs that you have opened on Safari. This makes switching between tabs really easy and really fast. Now, how cool is this? Have you ever wondered what a name of an emoji is or what does it actually express well you will be able to now just tap on an emoji and you can see right there where you have the section when you actually go from the normal keyboard to the emoji keyboard you will have a section here to search for emojis now when you tap to add an emoji it will show right there for like a couple of seconds the name of that emoji and you can see right there it will actually work for every emoji that you have on your keyboard. You can try anything you want right here and it will basically just show you the name of the emoji. That's a really cool thing because you will basically see what that emoji means without adding it somewhere or without first sending it to someone. You can now know the real meaning of that emoji. Now here's one thing that I really like on iOS 26. And you will probably notice this as you use iOS 26 on daily basis. So when you tap on the share sheet, first of all, it will pop up wherever the share sheet button is. So if it's right there at the top, it will pop up there. So you don't have to go there and then go right at the bottom right here. But you can see these buttons right here. And a lot of them, you will have the ability to actually add more actions there. So for example, if I'm on a photo here and I go ahead and try to share it, I will have a lot of actions here and more here. Now what iOS 26 will do is that it will populate this right here, the favorite sections based on the actions that you use. So let's say here on the photos app, it, when I tap the share button, if I use most of the time, let's say the create watch face button, it will actually add it right here. Like it has added right there, the button to add to an album or add in this case to the wallpaper central album that I have. So the actions that you use most out of your share sheet will automatically be placed right here at the top. Another really useful feature on iOS 26 is the new delete button. It actually works way different than the old one on iOS 18. So now when you actually tap the delete button, the pop-up will show right there where the delete button is. Now previously, if I would just tap right there, it would show the pop-up right here at the bottom. Or even if the item was, the delete button was right there to delete maybe a conversation, it would still show it at the bottom right here. And now it shows the delete button exactly where you have the delete action. So the pop-up will be right there over the icon, which you use to actually to delete an item on iOS 26. Here's another one that's actually very useful. When you get this screen on your iPhone, you will probably get it a few times during the summer because of the really hot weather. Then your iPhone, of course, will stay like this until it cools down. But previously you would see this screen, but not these blue lines that you see right there. Now with iOS 26, you will actually have those ticks right there that are basically an indicator of how much time you have to actually wait before you can again use your iPhone. Previously it would just show like this and you didn't actually know when you can again use your iPhone you would just have to wait for the screen to be gone. And now you will have those like four or five blue ticks and it will actually start decreasing right there turning white until it turns all the way down and that is the time that the screen will actually move away and you can again use your iPhone. 
Now on iOS, when you try to share something from a website, you can actually go ahead and select some text. And if I just go ahead and tap this button right here, I can now go ahead and share that text, of course, with the link. But what you can do now or what you will be able to see on iOS 26 is this button right here, copy link with highlight. This means that you're actually copying that text that you have selected and also copying the link. So when you try to send it on a message or an email, it will actually show both of them. So you will have the, uh, the actual text that you have highlighted from that website, and then it will also send the link. It could previously do this as well, but now you will have a dedicated button, which lets you know that you're sharing the link again, together with the highlight, basically with the text that you have selected. With iOS 26, Apple has made a ton of changes to the battery section on the settings app. And while you're charging your iPhone, of course, you will see right there the time, how much time you need to charge and all that. But you will also see that line, that green line that you see right now, which is an indicator of charging. But that is not always green. When you're charging your iPhone with a slow charger, it will actually turn orange. So that way it will indicate that you're using a slow charger. And of course, charging your iPhone will take way longer. So anytime you go here and you see that this green right here is orange, make sure that you actually switch a charger if you just want to charge your iPhone faster. Moving on to the Safari settings, head on to the settings, go to apps, Safari, and then just scroll all the way down here and you will have a section for advanced settings. And here we have a new setting for privacy, which is really important. It is called advanced tracking and fingerprint protection. So when you go here, you can choose to enable this for all of your browsing. Previously, you had this feature only on the private browsing on Safari. Now you can actually use the advanced tracking and fingerprint protection, not just on private searches and private browsing that you do on Safari, but also on every tab everywhere that you go on Safari with iOS 26. Now, one of the best additions to iOS 26, in my opinion, is the new preview app. You will have a place for all of your documents, all your PDFs and images as well. But it also allows us to scan documents and of course, just save them right there into the app. Now, just use a scanner and then put them to the files app. You can just go ahead and scan like this. So your three details there, you can start scanning a document directly from here. And of course, you will have the ability there to create empty images and all that stuff as well. But again, you will have the button right here within the app as well. And everything is saved and can be edited right here. A really amazing job Apple has done with putting the preview app on iOS 26. It's actually really, really great. And it gives you a much easier and faster way to manage all of your documents. Now with iOS 26, Apple has brought back an amazing feature, the ability to add a loop to your screenshots, but it does also work for your images. So even when you're on the photo library, if you just go ahead and go to the edit and then go to markup, you will be able to pass the, to tap the plus button right there and add the loop. This will allow you to zoom in on anything you want on a picture. So of course, if you just want to send a picture to someone, you want to zoom in or focus on something, then you will be able to do this as easy as that. Now, this has been a feature on iOS before. I don't know for what reason Apple had actually removed it, but it's back and it's actually super useful. And now you can use it also within the Photos app. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are 10 cool new features that we have been able to discover on the new iOS 26. Hopefully a lot more features will come with the next update, which will most likely happen next week. Next Monday, we should have the third beta with a lot of new fixes and of course, a lot of new features. So that is it for this one. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you on the next one.